welcome to are you an able entertainment so yet another video like we give you new videos every week so today i'll be asking europeans to name just one african language like there are over 2000 languages in africa and i'll be asking them to name just one let's see if they can do this actually another video we made that was some time back turkish reaction to african languages where we played um, an audio of different African languages to Turkish people and then listen to their reactions of these languages like it was their first time ever hearing these languages so the reactions are so interesting and funny I'll be leaving the link at the end of this video so definitely check it out and don't forget to subscribe for more Afrocentric videos guys let's check it out Can you name one African language? Uh, Burundi? Oh, Kirundis or something like that? <laughs> Which one? Uh, it, it's a con <laughs> yeah, the country <laughs> is Burundi, but the language is Kirundis, if Are I'm you sure? correct. I'm not 100% <laughs> <Not> sure. sure. <laughs> Where did you hear that before? How a friend of mine is from uh, Burundi originally, yeah. and when he wow. talked with his family, talks in that language and I believe he said he's talking Kirundi. So well, you're correct. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No, no, I don't know. Not? No, no, no. no. Not even one. Africa has over 2,000 local languages. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, not one? No, not okay. one. Uh, yesterday I was forgetting. My mom is hey. <laughs> um, I don't know anymore. No? You don't know any African language? No. You've never heard of any African language before? Yes, but I forgot. What does it start with? Do you I have any idea where it's spoken? I don't know. No? Um, you? No? no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Another South Africa. African. Or is that not really uh, that is not a no? That's more like a demonym, like someone from South Africa is South African, oh, but it's not a language. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. No, not really. But I also think if, like, as we speak, I think in Dutch schools you don't get a lot mm. of uh, education about. It's all. It's Western. Um, it's really it's Western, Western education. So that's why Focus. I think we're really clueless about questions like this yeah. because we just don't get. I've never actually had. Um, being taught about like the African culture or about African uh, languages or in school so hey. I couldn't actually name name one to be honest not because I'm not interested because I'm, I'm just deep really deep right oblivious now. I just don't know <laughs> okay so I'm yeah. going to say a fact and you tell me what you think about it okay so now an average African speaks at least one European language either it's English or Portuguese or Spanish yeah. or French because of colonization of Africa yeah but it's the opposite in Europe. Yeah. What do yeah. you think about this? Well, I think I th it's, it has a lot to do with ignorance. And it's just really hypocritical because we demand from people that come into our countries to speak our language, but the other way around we don't. We don't. A lot of people don't even try. No. So it's, it's, it's a lot of, it, it has a lot to do with ignorance and just not really. And just like the, yeah, the superiority feeling of like, um, yeah, I think the white supremacy as well, like the white privilege is that, um, yeah, yeah, we just think we don't have to learn it, I think. <laughs> language. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Does South America South African like Af is that a language? Well, it differs from Dutch. No? no, that is not a language. Is it not a language? Is oh it? Oh my god! What would it be? This should be easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, I feel really bad right now. There are over two thousand languages in Africa. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So just one. Name just. I think one. I'm thinking way too difficult. Wait, Af Africa is. No, it's that's a continent. No, I'm. Mean, Egypt is in Africa, right? Yeah. yeah. So, how do you say that in English? What? Egypt? No, no. Egypt. 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 South African has got to be a language, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, uh, there's countries. I 
I don't know. No um, idea. I would like to know. I just don't know. No? No. Somali. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, you said you're half Nigerian. Yeah. And which part of Nigeria is your dad from? He is from Lagos. He's from Lagos? Yeah. But which tribe? Do you know? No. Does he teach you any a, a language at home? No, because he's only... His dad is from there and that makes me like a quarter Nigerian, but he hasn't ever been. We've been to like South Africa and yeah, but we haven't been there and we don't know like much about the language. Does your father speak any African? No. He doesn't speak also. <laughs> so just your grandfather speaks African. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll teach you one today. Since you're half Nigerian and your dad comes from Lagos, there is a language called Yoruba. Uh huh. Yoruba. Yoruba. It's in the. <laughs> it's a language in the southwestern part of Nigeria. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, wow. one African <laughs> language, Swahili? Swahili? Which, which country speaks that? I wouldn't know. No? No, no idea? No idea. Well, how about you? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> None at all. Oh, whoa. Actually, Swahili is an African language. I know. That is spoken in Kenya ah. and Tanzania, Uganda. Okay. In some parts, yes. Yeah. So, another question is, have you ever thought of learning an African language before? No, I haven't. No. no? Why is that so? I just haven't thought about it. No? no? No. Okay. I think with English you can go everywhere. And I think in Africa, I've never been there before, so English should be spoken everywhere. Okay. No. Mm. I think Ethiopia has its own language, but I'm not sure. Ethiopia is a country, but... It doesn't have its own language? Um, it has its own languages, but its language is not Ethiopian. Mm. Okay, okay. No, I don't really uh, know a language in Africa. No. No, no sorry, no? I really don't. <laughs> no, I don't think so, no. Can you name an African country at least? Um, <laughs> let me think. Uh, <laughs> Somalia. Okay. Kenya. Ethiopia. South Africa. Morocco, mm -hmm. um, Ghana. Ghana, Ghana, yeah. Ghana. Okay, so from these countries, let me tell you some of the um, languages they speak. You said Ethiopia, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think Ethiopia, for example, they speak Oromo. Okay. Um, Amharic. So, do you know that in, um, Af in African countries, at least an African speaks one European language? Really? Yeah. What, what do they speak? Mostly. At least. Every what? African knows how to speak either English, English. Yeah. French, French. French. Yeah. Spanish, or Portuguese. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think I understand um, French mm -hmm. as well, because in Morocco that's really close to Spain as well, so I would understand why they would speak in European language. No, but they speak it because of colonization. Yeah, colonization. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah that's that. I'm not trying to go off that. No, no. <laughs> no, but I know because of the colonization, because Europe used to colonize a lot of uh, yes. African countries. Yeah. So, and it's a total opposite here. Yeah. Do you think, um, what do you think about that? It's really bad. I think it's very conceited of Europeans, because mm -hmm. Well, most because I in the in the Netherlands we speak English quite a lot, but it's really cool that African people can speak at least one European language. But I think with you interviews most people here, they couldn't even name one, <laughs> just like as one language. And I think that's very conceited. Do you think um, African languages should be introduced to the European school system? Definitely. Well, Definitely. I think it's cool to to learn it and to be able to speak it, but. I don't think we'll use it. But it depends, because we get some. I know some high schools teach Chinese as well. Yeah. C because that's a like a world language. Right, because you can also but, but use think, it. Yeah, but think about it, because they offer Russian. They offer so many languages, but I've never heard of a high school or some school that you offers think, an African you think language. Offer it because they would ever use it, or it's more of politics. Maybe communication. Yeah, that as well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now that you're talking about it, I've never thought about learning an African language before. <laughs> okay. So maybe you should make some research about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel really, really bad right now. I, know. <laughs> I think I think there should be more diversity in the, the languages we teach. In uh, yeah. Yeah. You? Yeah. Great. Yeah. 
Ja, dat ja. Zo, is, vind jij ook dat, dat er meer diversiteit moet komen? Ja, ja dat is Ja, she wel. thinks we have to speak more languages well, because we only speak English, but yeah, Spanish yeah. is like a world language too, and we only get yeah, that okay. subject if you choose for it, and not as a, a base. Yeah. And uh, Dutch, but also like other uh, languages like Mandarin or Chinese, I think there should be more diversity. Even not just uh, in the, the basic system of school, but just as a, a subject you can choose. Uh, so that's that's even there. Um. Do you think in the future there's any place for African languages in European states? I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah. That, um, Do you think there's a possibility? Possibility? I think if we are in like the daily basis of now, I'm not sure. In the sense of like where we're going. Yeah, I, I just really don't know where we're going because there's more protests, of course, and there's more. Um, how do you say that? Yeah, there's a lot changing. There's a lot of a lot of change and stuff, but I think the the Western, like uh, white male dominance, is just really um, visible still, and I I think it's just so hard to break down. Yeah, I in think it's like it's something. I don't think it's gonna maybe appear in regular education, but if you seek it out, mm -hmm. I think there will be a place yeah. for it because I think more people might be open to learning new things, especially since we've been locked up. Like yeah. you can see that people are starting to learn new things and understand each other better because they've realized, okay, we're really like all in this in, in our yeah, yeah like yeah. you gotta be open to these kind of things, yeah. but it's it's. I don't know if there's going to be a place for in public education. Yeah. Maybe that because then it has to come from the government and stuff. And I and I don't think the government uh, will subsidize something like that or give room Cause, for cause stuff. Even like that. Th there has been, I think, um, people have been asking to to broaden the history. Yeah, the, um, the history about black um, sla like slavery, like slavery and, and stuff, not not just from the white perspective, and even that is hard. So that's maybe why I think it will be hard to get like yeah. languages. So like as I well. think there is a possibility, but I think right for how it is now, that possibility is pretty small because yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so so amazing. You said so much amazing stuff. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>